One of the most important steps in building the self-driving car of the future is getting the sensors right, letting the car know what's in the world around it. Right now, I'm in a car by Renaissance, a chip company that supplies chips to automotive manufacturers around the world. Uh, they're just testing out their new R-Car H2 chip that can actually enable uh, self-driving. But at this point, we're just looking at the sensor fusion, what, how these chips process the sensors around the car. So we've got a view right now, a surround view from cameras around this car we're in. And this is showing us what's all the way around the car. And this is being processed by the computers. The computers can use this to help determine what not to hit and where to go, where it's safe to go in a self-driving car. But now let's look to another step in this, how the car finds the lanes it can go into. With this view, we're looking at the forward cameras. The car is looking at the lanes and the cameras are identifying lane lines and it's using this green band here to show us that it's recognized where the lanes are. It's looking at the markings on the road. That's obviously crucially important for a self-driving car so it can determine where it can actually go and how to stay in its own lane. This is what engineers call a scatter pattern. This is sensor fusion. It's taking all the input from those cameras and LiDAR sensors around the car, showing what's around. And you can actually see on here, it identifies specific things like there's a car coming up here and it can, you can see it up here that it's telling us that's a car. The libraries, the computers in the back of this car will recognize these things and apply a label to them. Now this is just a sensor demonstration at this point, but what Renaissance engineers are doing are taking this data and figuring out how they can make the car understand what to do in these circumstances when they find these things on the road. So this is one of the first steps in developing the self-driving car that we're looking forward to in the near future.